everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Audio Advice High Notes, our weekly live stream show right here on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. We do this every single Friday, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Today, I've got one of our sales guys with us, Nick. Thanks for hey joining guys, today. All right, so we have a fun show for you today, a little bit different than what we've done. Uh, Nick brought some albums with him today. We're gonna talk about great music used for testing a new pair of speakers. Uh, so before we get to that, a couple of things while I have you guys. Uh, follow us on social media. We'd love for you guys to do that. You're on our Facebook page now. Hopefully you already like our page, but you know, go over to Instagram, give us a like on Instagram, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're always putting out new videos on YouTube, product reviews, how to set up guides. So make sure you check that out. Also on our website, check out our blog. Our website is a huge resource uh, for like, product reviews, setup guides, you know, how to guides. We have hundreds of articles on our website. And then last but not least, as always, we're doing a monthly giveaway. And this month is a pair of Odyssey Mobius headphones along with a uh, Audio Quest Dragonfly, yep. right? And you actually tested and did a review on the headphones. You want to maybe give a 10, 15 second flyover of the headphones? Yeah, yeah. So the Mobius were kind of designed to be a gaming headphone originally, but you know they have a ton of great uses. They're really cool. They've got a, a 3D aspect that's, you know, a lot of people say that's used for mostly gaming, but we've used it for movies and, you know, music, and it's it's a really cool feature. And overall, you know, a planar magnetic Bluetooth headphone, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah. All right, so on today's show, we're gonna do a little, uh, something a little bit different than what we have done in the past. You actually brought in some albums for your own collection, and we're gonna talk about uh, songs that you enjoy uh, to test a new pair of speakers to. So when someone's actually, you know, looking into buying a new pair of speakers, there are certain things that they should be looking for. Mm -hmm. What are those things that they should look for? So a lot of the time people look for a sound stage, so just the placement of the instruments, uh, low end resolution, so just bass resolution, how tight it is, uh, just the dynamic range inside of the speakers, how clear it is transitioning from the low notes to the high notes. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things. Okay, so you brought in some albums. Yep. Um, tell everybody what you brought in and kind of explain uh, the song that you enjoy on the album, uh, testing a speaker to, yep. and then what they should listen for when they're going to, you know, listen to this song for a new set of speakers because yep. we also are going to drop this list on Spotify. We're going to put the link down in the bottom here in the comments so you guys can actually go and use these, you know, tracks to test a pair of speakers. Yeah, yeah, so we'll do Spotify, Tidal, and Cobuzz. Okay. So the first one is Hot Rats by Frank Zappa, and the first song is Peaches and Regalia. And so what I look for inside of this song is it's, it's got a lot of transitions, it uses a lot of different instruments, it uses horns, it uses strings, it uses instruments for different countries, and Frank Zappa is a genius producer. So this is a really good one just to test um, low ends and high ends, it's just the whole dynamic range. All right, okay. What do you have for us next? All right, so next we have Elliot Smith. And so he's a, he's a really popular artist, most well known for his uh, soundtrack and Goodwill Hunting. Uh, the one that I really like on this one, which is one of his most popular, is uh, Between the Bars. And so Between the Bars is a really good kind of acoustic vocal track. He's kind of got a higher pitched voice, so it works well with in between the tweeters and the mids. Okay. It's a great song just to test, uh, especially bookshelves, one I really like to test bookshelves with because it doesn't have a ton of low ends in it. All right. The next one. You want to hold that for you? Yeah, if you'd like to hold you these, you can move those right out of the way. Uh, the next one is Krungvin, and it's the universe smiles upon you. And so this song is it's kind of a almost like a live recording, and so it's got a really nice sound stage. Uh, the song is uh, White Gloves, and so it starts off with like some rain falling. The intro's very neat. The first 30 seconds, it kind of adds an instrument. It starts out with just the rain and the drums, and then it moves on to the guitar and vocals. And so in between those transitions, it's it's super immersive, really cool song. You can also test um, a lot of your low ends with the, the drums right. and the bass are really cool in the song. Cool. I'll take move that, that from move you. Move that over. Uh, the next one is The Replacements. So one of their uh, more popular albums, um, Please to Meet Me. And so out of this one, I think that my favorite is, it's gotta be uh, Nightclub Jitters to test with. Uh, it's kind of jazzy, kind of goes in between. You know, they're a super versatile band. 
uh, but that song is really great for those uh, for those bass lines as right. well. And they, you know, their vocals are kind of airy, and it sounds, you know, it's it's a really good one to test with. And again, you know, you kind of have to like the songs to really get a good test out of it. Sure. But after listening to it about a thousand times, you kind of <laughs> you kind of realize what it yeah. sounds like on a good system. For sure. All right. So the final one that you brought in. So the final one I brought in is the really cool album, one of my personal favorites, The Persuaders, and it's a thin line between love and hate. So what's really cool about this album, it starts out with a melody with a, uh, with a piano that goes all the way across, it pans. And so on a nice set of speakers that are spaced evenly, and this is one that I really like to test for uh, placement of speakers, uh, as it kind of hits the center note between the melodies, it's right in front of you, sweeps left to right, really cool. And then that's whenever the drums and the uh, the vocals come in. And so again, this one isn't really the best one for sound staging necessarily, like it's a live show, but it really takes you back to kind of the editing process of some of these like less popular 70s bands. Yeah. It's a really cool album. Yeah. Man, you uh you are an old soul, I do believe. <laughs> so, no, thanks for thanks for bringing all these in. Uh and you actually just picked up a new pair of speakers. Um you mind telling everybody, you know, like what you picked up and and why? Yeah, yeah. So, I got the Rebel F36s and we have a whole array of speakers out in the front that you can kind of switch through and test each one. And you know, I won't tell some of the ones that went up against, but for their price point, I think they're by far some of the best speakers. They have great low ends. They can reach really low, and you know the tweeter is fantastic, super detailed. You know, one of the only complaints I've heard about the speakers is that it exposes bad recordings. So yeah. th they've just got a ton of detail for yeah. for their price point. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for you know bringing your albums in and kind of telling us about you know what to listen for when testing different music and different speakers. I uh, certainly do appreciate it. So hey, we're actually probably going to write an article on this as well. Uh, to kind of dive a little bit deeper into you know songs and what to listen for uh, popular songs and maybe some even that aren't so popular mm -hmm. that are kind of off off the the beaten you know uh, path so to speak yeah. so which it's kind of fun because it's all about music discovery as well yeah. so I mean some of the artists that you actually you know brought in today I had not heard of so mm -hmm. you know I'm anxious to kind of listen to some of the tracks and and see what I think of them so yeah. I appreciate you bringing them in. Uh, Hey, before you guys go, make sure you enter our giveaway. This is the last week we will announce the winner next Friday. So you're coming up on the deadline for that pair of um, Odyssey Mobius headphones. So make sure you go onto our website, enter the giveaway. There's a, there's a few ways that you can get a, a few bonus entries as well. If you follow us on social media, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Instagram posts, and follow us on Instagram, you'll get a few bonus entries as well. So make sure you get the entry in before next Thursday night at 11.59 p.m. because on Friday, we will be announcing the winner. So we will see you guys next week for that giveaway announcement.